morning. Here we are, 2014. There are many brides to be at home right now watching and as well maybe hoping to get married. Everybody wants that perfect wedding day. And, and Casper Hader's with me this morning. We're talking about wedding trends. You have your own design firm that specializes in this. Um, it, let's talk about venues and, and really exceptional spaces. There's always for the reception, they're always looking for something a little bit unique. Oh, absolutely. He doesn't want to get married in something unique. And Toronto has some of the most amazing, beautiful venues in the city. But unfortunately, most of them are actually booked out for years in advance. Castle Loma, which is now operated by the uh, Liberty Grand Entertainment Group, mm -hmm. has just announced the opening of a new garden tent. And they are hosting an open house for brides that could actually book this summer on Sunday. January 19th between 1 and 4 p.m., which is unheard of. Yeah, I think we have some pictures of Casa Loma. Oh, it's such a beautiful It was venue. a private residence mm -hmm. originally built, and, and this is, if you want to feel like that queen, queen and king. Who doesn't want a fairy tale wedding, right? You're mm -hmm. getting married in a castle, and on the grounds of it, in the beautiful lush gardens, and a tent, and like, it's magical. Our own Jen Valentine, who does Live Eye here, was married several years ago oh, wow. at Casa Loma. Well, it's definitely on trend as well with everything that's happening at the moment with weddings, so... Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful space. Average cost of a wedding right now in Canada? I think it's around 30000 Yeah, around 30000 Which is kind of like an average wedding. But some will spend that hundreds of oh, thousands. Oh, uh, hundreds and thousands up, you know, if, you, if you've got it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You say I like it when you spend it. <laughs> yeah, of course you do, right? <laughs> you say trend number two is color is back. Oh, uh, color is huge this year. Like, you know, the days of the all-white wedding are definitely gone. Mm -hmm. Brides are going to use beautiful pops of bright color. You know, think, I'm not talking about using a whole rainbow and being really tacky or anything mm. like that. I'm talking about using using beautiful muted natural palettes such as ivory, white, uh, metallic golds, and then throwing in a bright pop of color as a red, fuchsia, uh, indigo blue. You know, it's just, I think brides will definitely infuse those colors and the, the details that people will see from, you know, the invitations to the pop of flowers, you know, even nail polish. Yeah, I know that the color of the year this year is orchid, which is a, kind it of is. a purplish tone. It is, yeah. It's kind of like a purple meets sort of a little bit of blue to it, but definitely purple, yeah. You should pick a color theme, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. Explosive flowers. I, I was saying to you early, brides, if your wedding starts without flowers, <laughs> your life is going to be without flowers, just to let you know. Amen to that. Uh, yes. Amen to that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So weddings need flowers and you want them Absolutely. explosive. Absolutely. 100%. Flowers create that beautiful feel and look, you know, and this year it's all about big and, you know, the return of the European glamour and lush, beautiful, big arrangements and installations. You've got, you know, beautiful wall flowers above, you know, like the dance floor. Brides are even using things like putting the seating charts and name cards like on beds of flowers or a wall of flower. They're really, really using flowers in every aspect of uh, weddings this year. Amen to that. Bigger and better. The glamour, you say, and also fashion. Glamour. Like, I thank God for the return of glamour. And, you know, I think there is a real love love for glamour and romance of, you know, like traditions of yesteryear, you know, things that are sort of coming back. And a major trend that has played part in that is Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You know, that whole great Gatsby look, which was huge last year, is definitely on trend again this year. But couples are definitely going to put their own sort of twist to it with rustic and, you know, elements to it. Thank you very much, Hader, uh, Casper Hader of uh, Casper Hader Designs. Once again, this weekend, that is January the 19th. There's an open house at Castle Loma if you want to go check it out. For more information, go to thelibrarygroup.com and to a life of flowers, my Thank friend. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television. Still more to come.